My name is John Martinson and I'm the founder of RoboLinux. You can call me Robo, everyone else does. Isn't it about time that a Linux distro company takes a stand and becomes an industry leader that actually transforms Linux on the desktop so that it can become the best it can be? Announcing the RoboLinux Open Source Software Foundation. People, this foundation is what all of you have been begging RoboLinux to create. It was founded May 1st, 2015, strictly for your benefit only. 9 out of 10 Linux users want better, more polished Linux programs. Why? Well, most Linux users still have to run Windows sometimes because they need to use Windows software applications which are better than what is available in Linux today. Sorry, but that's the truth. Yeah, it's sad. RoboLinux listened to thousands of users and has taken action. Now, when a user downloads and installs a RoboLinux operating system, they can quickly become a RoboLinux Open Source Software Foundation Premium member. So, they have the power, as a team player, to suggest improvements to the software programs they use in RoboLinux. RoboLinux Open Source Software Foundation members can request specific software enhancements, bug fixes, and new applications they want via a special email address which is provided to them when they sign up. How about this? How about we approach those Windows app developers and we get them also to produce Linux apps? We'll have the money to do that. Do I need your money? No, because I'm a sysadmin. I do penetration testing, cybersecurity, I build servers all over the world, I work for dozens of companies, that income supports me adequately. Yes, I'm blessed. RoboLinux is supported by tech support fees from Stealth VM and C Drive to VM, so it is a self sustainable nonprofit organization. It doesn't need this money. Why did I write eight Linux operating systems then? Two reasons. Number one, I wanted the fastest Linux OS I could have, so I wrote it myself. Number two, I made my OS available or all my OS is available to the public for free so they could benefit as well. Let's get back to the topic at hand. Basically, if you keep using Windows apps, you will have to continue paying thousands of dollars out of your pocket to Microsoft for their operating systems and also to the ISVs, those are the independent Windows software developers who charge a lot of money for each program that you're forced to buy because you're hooked on them and there's no Linux apps as good as theirs. You see, you may not know this, but there are now well over 200 million Linux desktop users in the world. The fact is we are a very large and formidable army that dwarfs and outnumbers Microsoft's greed machine in Redmond, Washington. Unfortunately, if we do not band together as one, then we are all stuck on stupid, being forced forever to pay thousands of dollars for Windows, Windows apps that are based on Windows, of course, and that we're hooked on because we can't find anything in Linux to replace them. Sort of sounds like a heroin addiction problem, doesn't it? It's your choice. You can pay a tiny membership fee to the RoboLinux open source software foundation which goes directly to Linux software developers and benefits you greatly or you can just keep paying thousands of dollars to Microsoft and their ISVs or independent software developers for you know as many years as you want to. People listen to me now or hear me later do not be complacent do not procrastinate the future of Linux on the desktop is collectively in your hands it's time for you to take action right now. Be absolutely certain to sign up as an ROSSF Premium member and you, let me say that again, you will reap the rewards and benefits of having vastly more improved and polished Linux desktop software and applications for free. You can read all about the RobeLinux Open Source Software Foundation where there is a link on our About web page to the page you see right here. Please note that RoboLinux provides 
audited monthly reports so you can be certain that this is a 100% legitimate foundation that will benefit you directly. Lastly, and this is very important, I want to take this opportunity to publicly challenge Linux Mint, Ubuntu, Red Hat, Debian, Fedora, and all the other 798 Linux desktop distros to copy what RoboLinux is doing. I ask them, take action now. Start your own open source software foundation. Let's make Linux desktop software all it can be. Thank you for your time watching this RoboLinux video. I hope you have a great day and may God bless you and your family.